antibiotic resistance is quite a, a complicated uh, issue. So there are many, many ways that bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. Today we're very focused as a community on targeting the so-called escape pathogens. Uh, these are uh, different bacteria collectively known as the superbugs, uh, for which in many cases uh, there are few antibiotics that work, and in some cases there are no antibiotics that work. These are superbugs that people die from. We need to have a solution so that we don't have this problem in the future. A problem with antibiotic drug discovery is that it's not a single problem to solve. Uh, and so we like to think of the antibiotic problem in simple terms as a Rubik's Cube, where you have multiple faces that you need uh, to figure out how to solve. You're not going to solve them all, and it's um, not impossible, but certainly not likely that just by randomly changing different pieces, you're going to come up with a solution to the cube. I think it's very important for us as a community of antibiotic researchers to value the importance of information sharing. Each one of us has a treasure trove of data, uh, but that treasure trove may be uh, one little treasure chest. And in fact, across the industry and, and in academia too, there's a lot of knowledge about a lot of different classes and what it takes to make them good antibiotics. And if there's a way that we can figure out how to share that information, it builds a common platform from which we can all grow for the next generation of antibiotics. We're not going to solve the antibiotic resistance problem with the introduction of the next new antibiotic. We're, need to, we're going to need to continue to build for the future. That takes commitment to the space. Uh, it takes financial commitment. It takes corporate commitment. It takes human commitment. It takes flexibility and enthusiasm and passion.